Hello, hello, I am Darkness, and welcome to Bioshock Infinite. I'm gonna get into it as I talk here. So, Bioshock Infinite, I play it right after Bioshock simply because that is the order in which the game, uh, I played the games in the first place. I skipped over Bioshock 2, and I'm going in here to make sure that I've got my subtitles on. So, audio, subtitles, yes. Um, it's the order I played it, so it's the order that I'm gonna, oh god, it looks so pretty. Looks so pretty! Um, but to me, there's a, a, as far as continuity goes, I love being able to play this one right after Bioshock because you're, you're going to see there's a lot of continuing trends, a lot of continuing themes from the original Bioshock. And if you played it on PC before, you might have seen a high-res version of this before the remastered version came out. Uh, this is for my console buddies out there mostly who uh, wanted to see Bioshock and did like I did, which uh, uh, played it on Xbox 360 or something like that before this. To me, this is already gorgeous, uh, but oh, the old timey music, mm, it warms my heart. Okay, uh, select difficulty, medium, that's fine. Because I'm doing this more for the, uh, more for the story, less for the, I want to show off to somebody. And this beginning loading screen made me so excited when I first got the game. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I knew okay. something good. Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to Transdimensional Travel. R. Lutes, 1889. 1912, Coast of Maine. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. <laughs> rowing. Rowing? Planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. Oh, We're right. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. I love that beginning dialogue. I love it to death because it sets the tone properly if you're paying attention. Especially if this isn't your first time. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. Hmm. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes to all of this. So, this is a game where you're, you're not just a silent protagonist like you were with Jack and Bioshock. So, if you followed me through Bioshock, thank you so much uh, in the first place. And second, when we, as we get into this game, don't complain that I didn't play two first. Two is the, fir the first two thirds of Bioshock 2 is like playing Bioshock again, with the last third adding to the story. I'll add to that story eventually, but I think this adds even more depth to the to the story in general. Um, do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Excuse me. It's Booker Dewitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me. And Booker is my favorite kind of protagonist, which is the jaded one and the one that has an actual opinion, actual thoughts and feelings, and you're not just trying to interject yourself. You get to pick him apart. And it's done by Troy Baker, the same guy who voiced Joel in The Last of Us. Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Hmm. Good luck with that, pal. So we already got a ton about his character, exactly how he kind of ticks. Um, one, we know that he was in the 7th Cavalry in the Battle of Wooden, Wounded Knee, which is actually um, actually an important detail. To, at this point, an important detail in just knowing that he served in the armed forces. Is anyone here? 
Hello? He served in the armed forces in a bloody battle that a lot of people came away with with regrets and were jaded. Let's look around here. Be prepared. He's on his way. You must stop him. See. Um. Uh, the other part of it is that we get an idea that his character is very much jaded already in the uh, in the fact that uh, he saw the basin to be able to wash himself um, as a small baptism or holy water or whatnot. Good luck with that, pal, was his answer. So he's definitely got some opinions. Shit. Well, this is the guy I was supposed to meet. And... Uh, I see that worked out, so... Yeah, it looks like he had a little bit of uh, the torture torture going on. But Booker is very complex. Booker is very opinionated, and Booker is not... Okay. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. He is not exempt from a lot of the stereotypes that are about to be going on here. We've got a lot of, uh, of class, religion, race... A lot of different things that are going to be coming up in this game. I will be going into all of them as I go along. Um, and we have the bells. Use bells. Wait a minute, that card. Yep, in his box, that card. Bam. Bing, bing. What in the world is... God farted. Yet. <laughs> I forgot about that one. It's communicating. Which it absolutely is. Absolutely is what just happened. This chair looks safe. Complete with restraints for the wrist. Right. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Yep. Notice the regrets start now. Nature shots ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. Safeguard. No, no, God damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. No, no. Three. Two. One. Uh, attention. Attention. Uh, attention. Uh, right, just stay calm. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. You better start yawning. Your ears are gonna pop. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. Hmm. I am back. Let's do some narration, narration, shall we? Why would he send his savior unto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And though we deserved not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden, a last chance for redemption. I love this song in the background. I love it. The way that they do the renditions throughout the game. I think there's one more line. 
and the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Actually, I think there's even one more line. But the way, the, just the way that everything starts off in this game immediately lets you know that uh, you're in for an epicness. You're in for an epicness. It also sets him apart from a lot of protagonists in that you know that he knows how to handle himself in the midst of chaos. He survived the Battle of Wounded Knee. The seed of the prophet shall sit in the throne and drown in flames the mountain of man. Mountains, whatever. One goes down in flames, all going down in flames. That's what you should know. You don't look creepy at all. This is really pretty. All right, so I'll start booking it through the game a little bit, uh, like a booker do it. Um, also, there was a line if you played with me the last game. I said the very first episode, remember that line. It's about the first line of dialogue after uh, the guy that comes to get you out of the bathosphere is uh, killed by that splicer. And I meant it when I said that. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I must keep such questions to myself unless I want to get paid. Hmm. And I love the mannerisms and turns of phrase. And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophets. I'd sing along, but I'm afraid that I'd barely not be synced up with it. And I'm sitting here like way off beat. Bye and bye. And just like, what is he singing to? Okay, Voxophones. I've almost given myself away in the last game. Uh, by not calling them the correct thing. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? So you can already see that they're taking religious motifs and warping them immediately. Christian religious motif warped immediately. We're about to hear uh, a, a Jewish one right here. It would have been enough. I believe it's Jewish. We recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Constant. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi, it would have been enough. Yes, and I just looked it up really quickly. That is uh, Jewish, and it has something to do with Passover, and I can't remember exactly how the original one does uh, goes, but... The path of the forgiveness is the only way to the city. Now remember that first line from the last game, guys. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Let's head off this and turn around and get back on that rocket. Yeah. Might as well get it over with. Might as well get it over with. Yeah. Uh, would you Would you take that hand? Also, would you trust this little circle around? Yeah. Come, let us 
cast the trickster out from you. Praise be the prophet. Praise the Lord. Come. Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, mm -hmm. and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Hmm. Playing it again and now knowing the ending in the beginning and how they even loop full Who's circle there? on themselves. Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door right now. Seventh Calvary. Not gonna do it. Except for his Go away. this is wrong to what his actual rank was. Mr. DeWitt. Investigations into matters, both public and private. Lovely vision you're having. priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. <laughs> so, find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. So, if you can't tell, these are actually the founders of the US. Father Jefferson, Father Washington, and Father Manhor, uh, Father Franklin. So that Eden might have laws. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. Yeah. Yeah, that's good logic for drowning people. Okay. So I must just say it out loud right now. Cross the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch with all the me. Oh, wait. By the sword and, and the scroll and, and the key. key. Amen. Amen. Yep. And even a bastardization of the very end of the uh, Protestant ending to the Lord's Prayer that was added if, uh, in the 14th century? I can't remember which. because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. Oh, I just got to say it out loud, by the way. I feel like the dark spot in the room as I play this. Yep. Oh, it's so pretty. Even just the light of lighting effects that they've uh, been able to amp up on here. Good to see. I'm gonna take your shit. We're not even gonna talk about it. Look at that. Oh. Doesn't that just look like it's trustworthy? All of Columbia celebrates. Full transcript of the prophet's recent address to you, the Colombian people. Yeah, about that. Okay, so I'm gonna run through. I'm I am going to be trying to hit all the stories. So if you see me uh, segue, uh, saying a sidetrack, it's probably for something like this, a voxophone. So. Archangel showed a vision. A city lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? And we have an actual iron horse here. It's not a train.
I am waiting. All clear. Good luck at the raffle, folks. We are in Colombia. So we're about to also hear something that I want you guys to pay attention to the song that you're going to hear. As it should also give you an idea that something Columbia is off. Raffle and fair. <laughs> it should give you a big idea that something is very off about this place. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key in the scroll. Now this guy's four temperatures. I'm gonna take everything. I'm gonna take the cake. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna turn off the radio. Um, white soap. Why has it gotta be white? Oh, good joke. Good joke, darkness. Thank you, darkness. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yep. I feel nothing about that. All right, and all of these also show um, stories, so beware of the false shepherd. Beware of the false shepherd. The false shepherd sings only to lead the lamb astray. Yes, who is the false shepherd? Is it him? Is it him? Or him? Is it you? Only our vigilance protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Fiend. There we go. Talking about the false shepherd. All right. We're getting close to what I was talking about of paying attention to the song. Here it is. Columbia's gayest quartet. Yes, gayest as in happiest, most joyful, jovial. Get your terminology right, people, because this is 1812. By the way, this is 1812. Please tell me when that song came out. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I'll change my mind if you... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to make the jokes. Hi there. You're not going to talk to me? That's cool. That's cool. By the way, he started cussing first, so I know I'm allowed to have a foul mouth in this game. I have played this game, so I know I'm allowed to have a foul mouth in this game. Uh, so... No saying, oh, please don't. I know that, yeah, it's too late. The game's going to do it first. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. He apparently went the Skinner box route of believing uh, who the person being baptized. Finkton Radical. Ha. <laughs> um. Look at that. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. Dewitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. How's it know he's uh, Mr. Dewitt? Dewitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number seventy-seven. Stop. Go to Monument Island, find the girl. Yeah, uh, the girl might be over there, where the giant ass angel is. And so, here's a silver eagle, and here's this. Hey, no one's standing down there. That's interesting. I'm gonna use this telescope. I'm gonna look at the giant angel. Wow, that is creepy. Also, do 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 yeah, um, okay. Ta-da! Yeah, pay attention to things like that. What are you two doing in this corner? What's your name, girl? Why, good day to you, sir. Hello. Uh, hello. 
Patented Vigors. Mor murder of murder murder of crows. I'm gonna get me a murder of crows. Crows. Man, my English is going downhill. You know why that is? It's because I played the Outlast 2 demo right before I played this, and I still have the shit scared out of me. Look at her. She's some kind of evil. You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Mm-hmm. Which they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. Hello there, friend. Hello. I'm going to use my whitest voice to speak to you. Let me through here, pal. Streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. Ouch. Peking to Kingdom Come again. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. Mm hmm. And. Ooh. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Mm -hmm. Well, friends, I am here today to tell you. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales yep. hold behind the pool hall. Vigors. No, sir. No young man. sir, young oh, miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. And this Let's is how you learn how to use a vicar. Vigor. That is going to be a tricky word to say in this game. Find the devil, good sir, and young sir, young miss, Protect the woman and child. the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Vigor sounds like another word, but it also, in this game, if, uh, if you would like to remember from the, uh, from Bioshock, we had plasmids. I like how they teach you how the things. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent. Fear not! I got you secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You there? You got There we go. Show you how to shoot a shotgun. I want the coin purse. I believe the next round is right here. Yes, I did. Pick up that purse. Won't give me enough money to get the, uh, I, you gotta play these at, like, all the games to find all the monies to be able to get one of the things I want to get at the beginning. But I'm not gonna put you guys through that. Are these kids smoking? My god, kids are smoking. It is 1912, so remember that as we watch, oh, what do they call them in this game? Automated Stallions? Yeah, the Iron Horse is, uh, the name of, uh, Train. There's a story behind that, but I won't bore you guys with that. Use high striker. I gotta keep a low profile. Let me whack the shit out of this thing. Ding. Okay. And you are creepy as fuck. All right. Why are you just in the corner doing that? I'd rather you not. Uh, Colombian flag co company. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander Boxifone. hot dogs. Boxifone. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Yeah. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? <laughs> What's a voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. <laughs> He's... Have you sampled any of the new videos yet? I usually wait till Fink works out the case before it's safe. Fink. Fink management. 
he doesn't look uh, like he's enjoying himself. So what else are, is it? Oh yeah, there's some more things to shoot. There's this little machine right here, which you can get Bucking Bronco, but it takes some doing to be able to get the money to get Bucking Bronco this early. All right. Shooting the targets. It teaches you how to use basic weapons pretty well, pretty fast, by doing these little uh, games with air guns and stuff. I seem to miss Daisy every time, even though I know I got her. Uh, got it. Yep. Yep. Yay! More money. Mm -hmm. Does this guy, this guy look uh, a little familiar? Just a little bit. The handyman. Before he was sick. After he was an upstanding gentleman with a little tentacle action going on from his shoulders. Nope. That's what happened. He is that sad. So, there's a kid playing with a sword. Actually, I believe it's an iron pipe that he has right there. But we've got one voxophone that I believe I missed. I mean, uh, one thing of seeing the sights. What the, the this? This is one of them. The envy of all his peers. Looks like Jimmy's friends are jealous. Wah. Because Jimmy's dad gave him a pack of Minor Victory. Minor Victory, the only brand designed especially for kids. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing too in this. Alright, so let's move on, shall we? Now that we've seen all the sites to begin with, let's talk to this fine little lady over here. Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well... It's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Can I bend you to my will? Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. How does he know to pull the head off? Look at me when you're kissing me. That's creepy. Don't just look up. <laughs> this is acid, kids. I hope it doesn't look fun. Position. Press to turn machines into allies. Yay! With position equipped, press L2 to make a machine friendly to you. Yep. Was that? that was a vigor. Assemblyman Buford. Also, bam. You get coins from machines. Now, you see how many coins there are, and I had 98? Now I have 103. My math tells me that there's more than five. And also, you're not using Adam, Eve, all that jazz. You're at assaults here. And one of my other favorite scenes of this game. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Hmm. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. <laughs> that is why it's my favorite. There's always next time. No tails. Also, it's a 50-50 on whether he calls heads or tails, and I think that's an amazing thing for replay value if you pay attention to it. I think that's amazing. Just the little things in the game really make a difference. All right, I'm going to look in here. I'm going to look in here. I'm going to look back over there, and they're gone.
heal drop you from this guy. But that sounds creepy. Vending machine, give me your monies. Am I gonna get that much money? Hell no, I'm not. Hi there, people. Hello, hello, hi, hello. Yeah. He looks, lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. <laughs> you are a living, walking scandal. Oh, oh, hello there. Hello there. Hmm. All right. My lady Comstock, of course. Prophet, bless her and take her. There, are, there is a correct answer to everything in this city so far. And I like how this is a juxtaposition against what you found in Bioshock, which is uh, the uprising, I believe, happened New Year's Eve 1958 in Bioshock. And you arrived there in 1960, so you're a year after everything went to hell. Um, um, so that's a big thing to say. This game, look how pretty the city is. Look how everything is still put together. And this is how we enter this game. Now take a look at look at that statue. It looks like a man, doesn't it? I think not. That looks like a woman. Our Lutes gave Columbia her wings. Let's pick this up and listen. Madam Lutes, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, mm. but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Constance's story is... that just makes me sad. It's not the last time we're gonna hear from her, that doesn't spoil anything in this game. But anyway, you shall know the false shepherd by his mark. What the? F yep. If your guess was like mine with all the uh, religious motifs, I guessed Anno Domini the first time I saw that. And I went, how? How does the year of our Lord make him the false shepherd? And this is as close as you're going to see. I guess a lot of people that are playing this are far removed from the original demo and all that jazz for this game. But I still remember, and I remember that this is the area that looks most like the original fight and the original uh, characters that were presented at that time. i got to keep it to that with, to not spoil anything. Health kits and salts. Nope. I'm going to take your money, though. I'm going to take all five it's going to give me. Three? Cool. You, I uh, might be a little tragic. I got a feeling. That shit's gonna go wrong. Jeremiah Fink is singing. That would be Jeremiah Fink right there. Fink management. The 1912 raffle has officially begun. Mister, mister. Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring Ooh. me the bowl! I would it's love you to root you. Prettiest young white girl. All right, then. We're getting there, guys. The And shit goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's happening oh, right now. Looks like we've got a shy got one here. Something for you, son of a bitch. Wait. Mm. It's him. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false 
And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Stop it! The false shepherds come to lead our lamb astray! Yeah, where'd you go, you puss cake? They're gonna fight me. And oh, just as satisfying as I remember. Yep. 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 That's a thing. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. I want to run onto this. Nope. Oh man, I miss a lot with this thing. It's because I keep holding it. Oh god, there's a gun. He's got a gun. Flank him. Search corpse. There it is. Now I've got a gun. Now shit's getting real. I gotta turn down my headphone volume. Because that's starting to be a little overwhelming. Search corpse. Salts. Okay, we're good to go. Now that I got a gun, shit's getting real. Yeah. And when I talked about the uh, motifs of uh, racial motifs, I was not shitting with you at all. Oops. I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Negro souls. Yep, yep, that's a thing here, guys. That is a thing. And let's check this vending machine. Possession aid. Adds ability to possess humans who suicide after the effect expires. Let's watch a video, shall we? Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. I also like in this game, yeah, that there are a lot of different things that cause traps in here. So, let's go ahead. Son of a bitch is in the park. Yes, I am. Cut him off. One more? Is it one more? I swear there's one more. By the way, this gun should show the age of where we are and all that jazz. Because this is an old 9x18 Luger style gun, which is a German pistol by design, I believe, and fireworks! I believe Katy Perry would have something to say about that. Anyway, um, and pistols at first work the same as a rifle would, which the magazine is front of the uh, of the grip because that's how it loads uh, which actually gives a shorter barrel unless you extend it so Boink! come at come at me bra oh, I got sneeze oh no oh no I got sneeze anyone else oh wow where did you come from well I know where you went Boink! And you are going to wear off about right now. There we go. That's fine, though. Get my back, bro. Get my back, bro. All right. And running along. Running, running, and running, running. Oh, I can go back now all of a sudden. Forgot about that. Hi there, dude. Pretty good aim for these pistols, uh, for what they actually did, which 
was not actually good aim. These these weren't the most accurate in the world. Where is he? Where is he? Well, he's messing you up via a possession. Perfect. Okay. I got everything under control? Yes, I do. Grab some shit over there. Yep. Where's the fireman? It's the fireman. I want to talk to the fireman. Bring me the fireman. It's the fireman. Nope, I want to go in here first. Yeah, stop, stop screwing about it. I know. No, I didn't mean to drink. I didn't mean to drink. I know I'm out of salts because I'm an idiot and I drank. I think I might have been out of salts before that, but I'm still an idiot that drank. Okay, there's some salts right there. I'm gonna grab that. That's a health kit for later. And let's go ahead and open this door. It's getting hot. What's going on? It's getting hot in here. Burn off all your clothes. Yep, that would be the fireman. Can't hit what you can't see. Yep. Take the vigor from the fireman. And vigor. Let's kiss. Well, you only live once. Yep. You only live once if you drink everything you find on dead bodies. Yep. Instead of just the uh, air trap that was in the last game, <laughs> pretty much everything can be made in a trap in this game. I wasn't no sample. Uh, yes, I know how to use uh, Devil's Kiss. All right. Anything important storyline up here? I don't think so. I believe I actually want to continue from the bottom. As yep, that's there. No, I'll, I can take care of him now. That's on first. So. But that said, you take care of everything for me, and I'll just... Whoa! Hey there. Uh-oh. And I'm going to be back here. Yep. Too slow. All right, so we're about to go into that building over there. I believe it's been called love. Just a little, little, little hug. And just in case you missed it the first time, ooh, sexy lady. Yeah, the only thing for this being 1912 and some religious settlement is the fact that they have no qualms with sex appeal for things. Seems like there are some things that are outside their sight. The blue ribbon. Menu. Uh, pig. Why does the head need to be labeled? Did you really not know what that cut was when it came with eyeballs? Really? Well, you gotta get head somehow around here. Here the ladies are uptight. I am so sorry if I sound sexist at all. I am just, it's verbal diarrhea, my commentary. That's all it is when I'm not thinking about it. They had my scent. If I didn't get to the girl soon, this whole job was scotched. Oh, by the way, some of the things that are going to be said uh, will sound, will have a racist tone to it, and I'll point it out when it's actually something that's uh, um, racist, sexist, uh, uh, bigoted in, anything, in any way. Um, I don't want to leave the blue group. Season Pass awarded you four gear pieces, a golden machine gun upgrade, and a golden pistol upgrade. Yeah. Industrial Revolution awarded you 500 silver eagles and three gear pieces. Get them at the Blue Ribbon. <gasps> You've unlocked three pieces of gear. Collect them at the Blue Ribbon restaurant. Yeah, that all happened. You must collect all of your rewards before continuing to Monument Island. Yeah, so here's some more story for you guys. Let me get this. Come a little closer. I think manufacturing. A look back 
at opening day. 19, 1893, the dream of the prophet is finally aloft. Columbia begins her journey to spread America's vision to the world. Fiend. Next. The prophet stands up to foes, within and without. 1901, the Chinese boxers take hostage American... The Prophet and Columbia stand up for America. What thinks does Columbia get? Washington to Comstock. Comstock, stand down. We stand behind the Prophet. He looks so confident. Fiend. We secede from the so-called Union. It's not Union if you secede. 1902, a cowardly America recalls her finest city. No thanks, says the prophet, we're fine on our own. Columbia secedes from the Union and disappears into clouds. Bean. Yep. So now you got a brief history of how we became to be Columbia up here all by themselves. So we got gears here. So there's a lot of gears. Gears. Uh, gear is special clothing that grants you unique abilities. You can only uh, wear four pieces at a time, one per type. Manage your gear from the gameplay menu. Hat, shirt, pants, uh, shoes. Yep, so we're gonna just take all of them real quick. I know exactly what I'm pretty much wanna get, gonna wanna wear. Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? Hmm. Uh, Aperitif. Hmm. I'll go ahead and take this from her. That? Surprising. Surprising that it worked. Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. <laughs> I love those two. Fleet feet. And what else have we got? All right. Are those all? The... Nope. Got more. And now we should have all the gear. So let's go ahead and. Actually, put which one? Uh, this one. Ammo advantage. I'm glad that one was already on there. Uh, melee targets are knocked back. And this is the one that gets changed around most with me. Uh, fleet feet so is what I'm going to start off with, though. So, let's go in here. I don't believe there's anything in here. I don't even think there's a box of phone. So now we've got one other thing. I'm going to try not to drink. I don't need to worry about that, though. I'm about to get a shit ton of money. I mean, money... Money in this game is not like Rapture, where it's just pelted onto you. Money actually means something in this game. So these, infusions. These are how you upgrade your character throughout the game. So we have the health, shield, and salts infusions. I'm gonna spread it evenly for the first three I get right here. Make just what the doctor ordered. Yep. Whoa, jumped. That would be the wrong Bhutan. And this guy, Good thing he's asleep. Otherwise, might have to shoot him. And now, from here, I tend to uh, focus on salt and shield, simply because the shield, for one thing, it recharges your health does not. Pick up gold bar. And there is my monies. Hi there, Lutess. Our Lutess. Here's, okay, listen to this uh, voxophone closely. Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, well, I'd settle for less. And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice. As I know how it ends. I'm gonna attach onto here, and then I'm actually going to call it in a second. Damn hook must be magnetized. Whee! 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 And he sees nothing. But I do get his weapon. So I have a machine gun now. I have machine gun ammo. 
I'm gonna switch over here because once they start coming, they don't stop. They get serious about it. So, I'm gonna land right here for a second and say, so that is the beginning of Bioshock Infinite. That is the opening. We are through to the most important parts. So now you see there is trouble in paradise. This is not just what it seems like to be on the surface. Uh, on the surface, it looked creepy in the first place, but it gets even creepier as you go down the rabbit hole. So this is a game where I really do, I do enjoy the characters. You already see that that um, even Booker DeWitt does have an opinion about what he saw for the raffle. The raffle was going to pelt them with baseball to death for a man, a uh, white man being with a black woman uh, racist much? I think so. Um, and he has an opinion about it already. He's, uh, he had something to show him and he called him a son of a bitch before he had his hand caught. So, um, this is not the silent protagonist. He is somebody with opinion, values, uh, morals of his own. Uh, and it's something that we can really delve into. Uh, but we are after a girl. We're after Elizabeth, as we saw in the very beginning of the, uh, opening the box that was given when he lost his pistol in the first place. Regained one because everyone figured out that we are the pretty much antichrist here. We are the false shepherd and we must be stopped. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be going through this game at a pretty quick, uh, click also. I'm hoping to get through this game before we hit uh, Halloween or all that jazz because it's at the beginning of the month It shouldn't take the whole month to be able to get through this game So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself If you stuck around to the end of the video, you might have liked, liked it. Give it go ahead and give it that thumbs up Also, if you want to know when the next one's coming out, go ahead and hit subscribe uh, And talk to me in the comments. I do talk back um, Now this is a charity channel So if it's your first time around here 50% of all the proceeds of this channel go to a charity the first pa YouTube page I'm gonna get is actually finally on its way and um, I think it's on its way at least so when I get it I will hold it at in front of camera put it up on screen whatever I have to do so you guys see exactly what it is uh, I know taxes and everything have something to do with it but for right now since it's a smaller channel don't care I'm gonna split it exactly in half I'm gonna give you guys a few options before I could give it a charity and then I'll post proof that I actually gave it um, since this is a charity channel, uh, uh, helping medical conditions with a, with a very much a, a focus on medical conditions and families that are suffering because they did treat a medical condition or um, they need treatment and they can't afford it. Um, I did start a patron account so this could be my full time job, make the channel grow, make it grow into something that could actually be something of a real change one day. So I do have a patron that you can help out making this my full time job. Also below, I don't have somewhere to give. You just want to be able to give to a charity and you don't want to wait for the end of the month. You want to be able to give something to add to that very end of the month uh, voting. Uh, I don't have that yet, but I do have a, a foundation that needs your help. It's the American Brain Tumor Association. It's an association that uh, if they had a bit more funding, my brother might still be here today to be with me on this channel. So uh, there's all that jazz. I'm going to sign off right now. I really do hope you enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite storylines in gaming history uh, to date. So uh, I enjoyed it. I'm signing off. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope to see you back here really, really soon. Bye! I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Oh, <laughs> the art.